fatigue symptoms at the age of 15 and we went to see my doctor he did a test for mono and when he showed us the results he said it did show up in my blood but that it already had passed he didn't run any further tests from that point on I saw a lot of doctors for various issues I began to develop issues with my heart rhythm, extreme pain in my bones, skin and muscles, passing out, almost deaf in one ear, kidney issues, sudden paralysis and later on I also developed spasm attacks and seizures that looked like epilepsy. I've been sent away so many times and I was told that they couldn't help me or that it was a psychological issue. Neither was true. They could help me. They just didn't want to. My case was too complicated. The months prior we went to Infusio Frankfurt, I was at my worst. I was almost in bed 24-7 in the dark. I couldn't handle light or sound or smells anymore. My parents weren't able to connect with me anymore. I wasn't responding. I had a lot of seizures. I had a lot of spasm attacks. I had a lot of other nervous system attacks. And at one point I wasn't able to eat anymore. I almost wasn't able to drink anymore. I was so extremely exhausted. I wasn't able to walk by myself anymore. I had to get some support or was in my wheelchair. It was a very, very dark time. And um, I remember at one point talking to my mom about how she would feel if I decided that I didn't want to live like this anymore and she told me she'd completely understand i didn't want to die absolutely not i didn't want to die but we didn't have any hope anymore so when you lose hope you are thinking about other solutions and it wasn't an option for me but it became little by little a more realistic option and um, it's not something that I wanted to but I also didn't want to live like that anymore And I can't imagine how it must have been for my parents to see me like that and to to don't know what to do, what you can do for your child. I felt that my body was giving up on me and I even thought at some point it's okay if I go to sleep and I don't wake up anymore it's also okay 
because this isn't life. I, again, I didn't want to die, but I didn't know how I could live on like that for years and years. But then we found Infusio Frankfurt and we raised money and within eight weeks we had the money to get the treatment and I'm still so thankful and so grateful for the people who donated money and who helped us raise money because without them I wouldn't be here anymore. My mom is, is convinced that if we didn't go to Infusio Frankfurt that I wouldn't be here right now because my body was literally giving up on me. My name is Bijan, I'm the uh, medical director of Infusio mm -hmm. and I treated a myeline uh, in January this year, first time. So uh, myeline, she came to our clinic with uh, Lyme disease, she was treated for Lyme disease with uh, several co-infections and um, symptoms and the biggest issue was her pain and the fatigue, uh, which is very common on Lyme disease. Um, nearly every patient is suffering uh, chronic fatigue. So when I met uh, Myeline first, uh, I saw a lady who was really, really wrecked. She was um, quite depressed. No, it was not really depressed. She was more aggressive about the situation. She was really angry to be in that state. Um, and I could realize this whole thing was um, just a nightmare for her. And um, so we started with our program in January, which is a two weeks program. It's an initial two weeks where we started with um, immune modulation, so boosting our immune system. We detoxed a lot, and we also ran uh, quite a lot of uh, antiviral, antibacterial, antimicrobial medication just to prepare the body for stem cells. So we clean the whole body, we detox, and uh, we boost the immune system. And, um, in the last week, we prepared the stem cells with her through a liposuction, it's called SVF, where the patients get basic kind of stem cells and uh, hematopoietic stem cells, and that's it. So Mayelan left, and um, as far as I remember, the first weeks were quite rough. Uh, it was very intense uh, because of one thing, which is um, not really usual. Um, it was something very special for my line. It, um, it was the um, pain medication. So she was covered of fentanyl patches on her body everywhere. And I told her, if you want to get into recovery more faster, we need to wean out this uh, medication. And I told her, I'm always with you so we can stay in touch and try to find a perfect um, way to get rid of it. So this was the challenge. And um, I think it was about four weeks post stems. I had the first call. Um, my line being really in a serious problem. So she was um, crashing uh, with energy. She was um, in pain and also her mindset was not uh, 100%. So I stopped on the parking when I was driving home and we had a, a very intense and very nice uh, uh, nice uh, telephone conversation and I think this happened happened again another time and but afterwards I didn't hear that much uh, from my line um, but uh, to be honest I was thinking of her and I was thinking if, is everything fine or not because she's a really emotional person so and um, after a few months um, some of the staff told me she's getting really good since we are friends on Facebook, I could see um, how she is. So she started to go out. That's what I love to see on our patients, to get back to life, to get back to normal life. Mm -hmm. And um, 
I was happy to see that. And now, um, today, Mariana is back. And it's just amazing to see how she is. So she's in a really, really good stage. Um, her pain is um, almost gone. There's still some pain left, but I think you can't compare it due to the fact that fentanyl patches are no more needed. We need um, some uh, Lyrica, some medication, but this is fine uh, due to the situation. And uh, her mindset completely changed. So there's no more aggressivity, no more depression. She's full of life and she's so enthusiastic. It's just amazing to see. And I would love to see patients, more patients getting faster into this stage where they realize, okay, I received a good treatment. I'm, I'm uh, obviously getting better. And now I also have to do my job. So, and that's what she does perfectly. So she's um, just doing amazing. And I'm very happy she's back. And uh, this is the second round. Uh, where we do another booster with stem cells. It's called um, ACT or PBMC. It's blood stem cells. It's an, uh, another quite intense round of stem cells, which is more targeted. So we spoke about her current situation and I asked her, what is your biggest issue today? And based on this, we prepared this shot. And now she gets the shot for uh, 24 hours and she's still living and she's fine. <laughs> And I really hope uh, this second uh, shot is going to be the last um, thing we are going to do for her. Um, but I also hope to see her again because we still got a challenge, uh, which is she needs to sit in her car and race. And that's what we spoke about uh, at the beginning. I asked uh, Marjolein, what's your biggest wish, what's her dream? And she told me she was... Uh, love to race uh, a car in uh, Sanford, in the circuit, I think, uh, or somewhere. Uh, and um, she showed me some pictures of it. And um, so we, we started the challenge. I told her, once you're back to normal, you should race again. And um, I'm going to visit your challenge. So that's still the challenge. Uh, I'm going to visit your race. And this is still the challenge. So as soon as my line is ready to go, um, I will be there. I'm going to be there and watch this um, race. So I think that's it. And um, it's really a pleasure uh, to work with a patient like my line. Um, and I cross my fingers, she's going to recover um, until everything is back to 100%. Right now, I had treatment a year and a half ago. And after a few months, I started to feel better. When we got home, the first few months, they were hell. I also had to reduce my uh, pain medication because I wanted to. So I did that by myself. I used fentanyl patches and I used oxycodone. And within a few months, I completely lost that. I reduced everything to the point of zero. I was able to go outside a bit more and I just started to feel better and feel better and feel better and right now it's been a year and a half ago that I had the treatment and I feel amazing. Of course my energy level isn't the way it should be but it's already so so much better. I think I'm like at 80% of an normal healthy person and I'm able to go outside and I'm able to party I'm able to work out I'm able to do everything that I want the only thing is that my energy level goes down a bit faster than a healthy person but that's 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 fine I'm so happy with with the results I'm so happy with the results and I'm so happy with the person that I am today. And I'm so grateful for everyone who donated money and who helped us raise money so I could get this treatment, so I could get my life back because I'm living my life. I'm, I'm, I'm in a midlife crisis because I'm living my second life, it feels like. But I feel amazing and I'm so grateful for Infusio Frankfurt. I'm so grateful for everything and Really, if you're, you're, you're still doubting to go, 
please do it. Please raise the money. Please go because it literally saved my life. And I cannot thank everyone enough. And I don't think the people around me, like the people who helped raise money, the people who donated money, the people at Infusio Frankfurt, I don't think they realize how grateful I am and how much of an impact their actions had. Because I'm still alive and I'm living a life. I'm not just existing, I'm living my life. And thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart because you literally saved my life. Hear my voice this time, this